students, staff members, and visitors. My name is Edison Garcia. I am in sixth grade and I am running for student council president. First of all, I want to thank you for being here. This is an important event for me in which you will decide who will represent the Rectum Rogers Student Council president for the year 2018 to 2019. When I decided to run for president, not only was I excited, but I felt nervous as well because of the responsibility one has to have. If you elect me as your president, you will do my, I will do my role in showing my school spirit, gratitude, and appreciation. This isn't my first year running for a leadership position at Perfecto Mancha, so I believe I have the experience to be a good leader since I was student council treasurer last year. I understand the roles and responsibilities that come with being a leader. I am hardworking, responsible, a good communicator, and a good person. It's important for a leader to overcome challenges and smile on the face of, ad of adversity. So if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Four years ago, when I came to the school for the first time, I felt nervous because I didn't know the school and, and the teachers and none us have friends. But now I can tell you that I've met the most awesome people here at the home of the Mustangs. I am ready to, to return all the love and support. When I told my father I was running for, for president, he helped me and he congratulated me. He told me these words. Son, if you went, you will have the opportunity to work for your peers. And most importantly, you will be serving and representing your school. I know you can do it. You are capable of that and much more. My parents have taught me all the things should be done right. And that is what I plan to do. I can take the hard work. I want to be president because I want this school to be a better place. I want this school to raise more goals, teamwork, and partnership. I want to make it a 100% anti-bullying environment. We should all be happy when it comes to school. Make the right choice. Choose kindness. That is why you should vote for me, Edison, for president. Thank you for listening. Go Mustangs! My name is Jeremiah Jimenez. I am a sixth grade student running for student council office. The position I am running for is president. There are many reasons why I think I should be the president for student council. The first one is that I am a GT student and I have had an honor roll all my time in school. I am also an avid reader. I love to read chapter books. When I was in kindergarten, my teacher convinced the principal to add me to the AR program because I was the only child that could actually read at that age. I think that the school would be better if we started a book club because you always discover good books from school or something else, like a read aloud. I want to help make the school be better. If I became president, I would try to put recycling bins in every classroom so we would not just throw away paper and plastic. Like, did you know that Americans throw away about 28 billion bottles and jars in one year? That's definitely too much. I know that if we put these recycling bins in the classrooms, we would definitely keep the earth much cleaner and would have hundreds of pounds of paper and aluminum cans recycled in the following years. As a Boy Scout, we learn about leadership and the concept of leave no trace behind and to become good citizens in this society. I think I am a good candidate because I like to think about other people. Like during school, I like to sweep the floor so the custodian does not have to do that much work. I believe that we as human beings have the responsibility of cleaning up after ourselves. Every day I see pieces of paper and pencils scattered on the floor. If we help clean up after ourselves, we could make the custodian's jobs easier for them as they work hard after school trying to keep the school clean. I also like to help classmates with their work if they do not understand the subject. I think I am a good role model as people look up to me for work, for help, and they know they can trust me. I think with me as the student council president, I can help the school get better with the rest of the student council officers and members. 
I promise I will do my best to make the school a better place for all of the mighty Mustangs that attend this amazing campus and work extremely hard to accomplish these goals. I would like to end my speech with a little joke. Why did the Mustangs cross the road? To vote for Jeremiah, of course. Thank you. My name is Fer Mendoza. For those who don't know, today I am going to give you reasons why you should vote for me. I will attempt to communicate with our elders to make positive changes in our school experience. I do not want to make promises that I can't keep. So keep in mind that our elders know best when it comes to our upbringing, so we must resort to them to properly guide us. But if you vote for me, I promise to have constant communication with those that lead us. Before you make your decision as to who to vote for, keep in mind that those that guide us are the only ones that can make proper changes. So don't let my opponents confuse you with ch changes that they can't truly make. So look at the changes that have been made. Were there any positive outcomes from these changes? So if there were any positive changes, I want to bring that by consulting our elders as to how to do so. Remember guys, we're still children. We need our elders to guide us. I want to talk about elders. I'm talking about all staff, parents, grandparents, teachers, etc. So think about it guys, how often did you ask your grandparents or mom and dad for help? And did they help? And was there a guidance? Something that you appreciated? And I read the words just for the simple fact that our moms, dads, and grandparents are our heroes and our teachers follow behind like Ms. Herrera and Ms. Rodriguez, who I see as not only my teacher but as my guide and my mother in education when I'm away from home. So now I turn to you Ms. Herrera and Ms. Rodriguez so you can give me the proper guidance to make changes where needed and to Thank you for your wisdom and availability. May you always guide us and keep us in your prayers as we keep you because you are our educators. So to close this speech, I want you guys to sit down and think of how we can really become a future to Eagle Pass. Thank you for your time and consideration and think about your choices because it will always affect us. Thank you once again and vote for Mendoza for president. My name is Daniela Rodriguez and I am running for student council president. The selection presents us all with a clear choice. It is a choice between continuing things the way they have always been done or electing leaders who can bring fresh ideas and perspectives. Today I am asking for your vote. Here are a few ideas I believe we can achieve together. Maintaining our academic excellence is a must and we can all do this by improving our study habits and striving our best every day. Having a friendly and welcoming school, that means a no bully school zone. We can also improve our campus by going green. This will help us become an eco-friendly school. As you can see, the future depends on our ability to work together. Cooperation and teamwork will get us far. If you elect me, Daniela Rodriguez, as your Perfecto Mancha Student Council President, I vow to lead with openness and honesty. I will lead with your best interest in mind. I welcome all ideas for making our school better. I know voting for someone requires a lot of trust. I am willing to work hard every day to earn your trust. Together, we can achieve great things. I believe you will make the right choice. Vote Daniela Rodriguez for Student Council President. We can and we will. Go Mustangs. Thank you. Before we begin, I just want to thank all the students, parents, and teachers for being here. I stand before you today as a candidate for president. In this position, I assure you I will work hard on your behalf, listen to your ideas, to your opinion, and do everything in my power to make this school the best it can be. I stand before you not only as a candidate, but also as your friend. Like a good friend, I will be honest with you about the challenges our school faces. I will do my best to communicate with you and keep you informed. As your friend, I will be asking for your help. Not one person has all the answers or can do all of the work. A chain is only as strong as its weakest link. Together, we must be strong and cooperate to achieve our goals. As your friend, I believe in you. I believe in this school. I believe in our ability to work together for something great. As the art author Margaret Mead once said, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that has. 
I am asking today for your vote. I believe I have the qualities to be an effective leader. I am also asking for your help. Let us begin the journey today of making the school the very best it can be. This election presents us all with a clear choice. It is a choice on electing leaders who can bring fresh ideas and perspective. I believe my most important job will to be to be list, to listen to all of you and to communicate with you regularly. This morning I am asking for your vote and as you can see the future depends on you to get us very far. If you elect me as your president, I vow to lead with confidence and honesty. I will lead you with the best interest in mind. It is an honor to be giving it is an honor to be given an opportunity to be saying this to you. I am Emily Valladares, running for president. Thank you for having thank you for having me. Have an amazing day. Go Mustangs.